I prefer this over all those Atlas movies, because God, those were terrible. What the fuck is this shit? YouTube, my cousin. <laughs> All right, so boom. Look at what we have here today. You see my background? You see the title? Today, we're gonna react to something. It's the Resident Evil trailer. Came out today, about six hours ago. While I was editing, the trailer came out. Listen, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've been reacting to these video game movies for years. Literal years. If you've seen my WTF series, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so today we're going to find out if we're going to end up doing that series again. Bringing it back. <laughs> so I'm going to take a look at this trailer. A little bit about me. I like Resident Evil. I like Resident Evil a lot. Actually, we streamed Resident Evil 7 and 8 uh, when 8 was coming out. And then when 8 came out, we, uh, we stream that too. I'm a bigger fan of the originals, so like one, two, and three. We won't get into that because that's a whole other conversation and y'all might already be hitting the dislike button. But anyway, that's not what we're here, here for. We're here to talk about this Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City trailer. So we're gonna give it a look-see, shall we? Let's take a look and uh, see what we're dealing with. I'm not very excited. <laughs> I'm just... I'm gonna just put it out there. I'm not excited. So anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bells, so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media. Uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I just, I just, I don't know. Let's look at that like to dislike ratio before we go in. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's it's a lot of dislikes, but it's not that bad. The ratio is not that bad. So anyway, I'm sitting in on this side, which is my typical side, because I'm gonna just put the video right here, because <laughs> Julie's not here. So I'm gonna just put it right here. You know, you guys keep me company. All right, let's get let's l let's do this. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Every story has a beginning. Is that clear? Already? Is that hunk? Discover the origin of evil. Hmm. Why are you back here, Claire? Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids, but not true now. We need to expose Umbrella. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. You see, Umbrella, they have an incident. Talk about oh. That guy played geese, uh, not geese, bison. Any movie, any video game movie that he's in is going to be trash, guaranteed. Let the world know what's really going on. Is that Chris? We have to contain this. That's Chris. Shall we go? Why does Leon look like that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, they have the, the twins. Split up. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that looks ass. That looks, uh, that looks like shit. Um, wow. So let's talk about the good things, right? Because, man, that was a whole lot of bad. The uh, scene with the first zombie you find in the first movie, in the first game, that's dope. That's a dope callback. And you know something? I don't want to, before I even finish with that, I don't want to judge this too hard. You know why? Because they tr it looks like they tried to stick real close with, you know, some changes, well, major changes, but some changes to the source material, but they tried to stay real close. Like the, the police department looks just like the game. The Spencer Mansion looks just like the game. At least that area looks just like the game. Um, they are wearing their suits. You, like, you know, like Chris had his suit on. Uh, Claire had her colors on. Leon looks fucking weird as shit. I, I feel like that was really bad casting. Uh, I'm not gonna say Claire is bad casting because I mean, you know, it is what it is. Chris is, I don't think is bad casting either. I would have preferred, you know, somebody super big who can punch boulders, but that's just nitpicky. So the reason why I, I wanna I wanna clarify that is because I don't want I don't want these directors and producers and all that shit, these companies to think that they shouldn't stick to the source material because you're gonna get eaten alive anyway, right? No. The reason why I think you'll get eaten alive is because the the, the zombies look bad, the the big boss enemies look bad, the liquor looks good. Uh, it looks like they paid a lot of attention to the liquor, but Everything else is, and then the story between Claire and Chris, like Claire looks like she's somebody more important than she was when she was going to Raccoon City, like, I don't know man, I think the Resident Evil story is fine, you don't really have to change that, right? So her going to Raccoon City to find Chris, to me is a better situation than somebody sending her a tape and her going to Raccoon City to be su a superhero, because she just so happened to be a superhero she wasn't a superhero when she went to raccoon city so and that part was mainly because she worked together with leon now they're still working together in the movie but i have a sneaking suspicion that they're gonna kill leon or characters are not gonna live when they were supposed to also the dude with the blonde hair i live by this if he is in that movie and it has to do with video games anime anything the movie's going to be bad that dude just takes work. He just takes it. Now, that's not to say he's a bad actor, because in other movies that he's in that don't have to do with video games or anime, they're actually pretty good. But when it comes to video games, he can't act his way out of a wet noodle. So, ah, man. But anyway, let's talk about the good, right? The good being Raccoon City looks like Raccoon City, at least from this trailer, kind of looks like Raccoon City. Um, the, the liquor looks really good. The RPD looks really good. Um, I wonder if if Nemesis will be in the game. Because it looks like they're... The game, the movie. Because it looks like they're comparing or they're uh, combining Resident Evil 1 and 2. Which 3 takes place in between 2. So, who knows, right? Who knows? I would prefer they leave Nemesis out. But, hey, it is what it is, right? It is what it is, I guess. Man. Let me talk about the bad real quick. Everything else. <laughs> that dude with the blonde hair. I'm not excited to see him. He was in Legend of Chun-Li. He was in like other shit. And I'm just not excited to see that guy. Um, so, I could be wrong. Right? We could go see this movie. And it might be fantastic. Right? But... Let's just say everything looked fantastic, spot on, right? And then at the end of the trailer, they show him, I would lose all hope. <laughs> all hope. That guy in video game movies and anime movies, or like, you know, in, in movies that aren't like serious roles, he's, he's not good. So, but uh, at least they're trying. You know, you can't be too hard on them because at least they're trying. And uh, E for effort, I guess. I'm too critical, bro. I'm too critical. I am. I know I'm too critical. I know somebody is in the comments right now who commented before they got to this part. I know I'm too critical. I understand. But we've had years and years 
and years of bad movies. Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, fire. Sonic, fire. Mortal Kombat, the new one, was alright. It wasn't too bad, it was alright. Um, like it was okay. The, the additional main character, I don't know what they were going for with that. Um, I still don't like him in the movie, but it was alright. The movie wasn't too bad. And maybe that's what this movie will be. Maybe it'll be alright. You know, it'll be okay. But I'm not excited. And I don't know what else it is about it, but as I'm watching it, maybe because my expectations are so low, but as I'm watching it, I'm just like, wow, this looks very low budget. But you know what? I'm going to be straight up with you. I prefer this than any of the Resident Evil movies with that Alice character, Mila Jovovich. I prefer this over any of that. I could take... <laughs> The main characters being the main characters, not being side characters to Alice. So, <laughs> I might as well just retcon this whole fucking video and just scrap it and say that, right? I prefer this over all those Alice movies, because God, those were terrible. Man, those were really bad. Remember Nemesis? Fuck. That was so bad, bro. That was so bad. And there are people who actually like those movies. Fuck. Those movies are fucking shit. <laughs> But anyway, I'm sure people are going to be uh, disliking this video, but look, man, it is what it is. One man's opinion is not fact, it's not law, so don't be mad at me. Just accept my opinion. You can express yours. I'm totally fine accepting anybody else's opinion, but I will hold full judgment until the movie comes out because I will be going to go see it because it's my job, but... um. As of right now, shit looks ass. <laughs> but anyway, tell me what you guys thought in the comments. I really want to know what you think. Please tell me what you think. And hopefully that music's not copyrighted. This is probably going to be copyrighted. Fuck. Please give me views. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon. And I'll see you in the next one.